So Logstash is much more simpler um, than the Elasticsearch setup. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to go to our Logstash server, copy our public IP. I'm going to log into it. And we'll sudo up just like the other one. And same thing with Elasticsearch, the RPM is available on their site. So all I did was, uh, was I got the URL and I'm going to download it. Here it is. Okay, and I'm going to install it. Okay, and it should install pretty fast. Okay, so log stash is in, and you can see that um, it's not running yet. Um, but the one thing we have to do is we have to configure log stashes. Um, configuration file um, so that it points to our Elasticsearch load balancer. So we're going to edit the logstash.conf file. In this logstash.conf file, I mean, you can configure many different ways, uh, but the way I'm going to show you here today is uh, really, really easy. Um, so basically what we have set up is we're going to say um, we're going to monitor um, a log file and I'm just going to put this in temp log and all I'm going to do is just dump a bunch of data to it um, and most of the time people will use this to monitor like Apache logs or um, some sort of system log that you're running to so Logstash when it's running on the box it's constantly watching that log and as soon as it sees something new inside there it's going to throw it over to Elasticsearch and it basically says take the output of this log file send it to Elasticsearch and we're pointing it right to that load balancer and remember that load balancer is round robining across the uh, two Elasticsearch servers that are in the um, in the cluster um, so all we're going to do is we're going to um, restart Logstash now that we've edited that okay so now that Logstash is restarted all we're going to do is we're going to dump a bunch of data uh, into that log file and I've already dumped a little bit of data in there um, just to make sure everything was working so I'm gonna put a little bit more in there so let's see let's say hello world and we'll do this a bunch of times just so we get enough stuff in there and we'll add some more we'll say hello world AWS tutorial series okay so now that we've got a lot of data in there um, the cool thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go back to that first plugin called Head for Elasticsearch. And I'm going to refresh. And you can see we've already got um, a Logstash index in here uh, from today. And we can see that it's already being sharded across these, uh, these two Elasticsearch servers. What's really cool is we can uh, see that there's indexes here. And we can jump over to the browser and we can see all the data that I was pumping in. So this can be extremely, extremely useful uh, when you're monitoring some serious log files. Um, so that is really awesome. And then if we can jump over quickly to uh, the other plugin called Big Desk. And now we jump over into this cluster tab that I mentioned earlier. And this is really, really cool. We can see our AWS tutorial series cluster we can see the two nodes within that cluster and we can see uh, how the data is being sharded across the two so this is a uh, really really useful to kind of see where your data is is going within within your cluster um, so now that we've got a bunch of data in there all we need to do is report off of it and Kibana is a really really easy install so I'll show you that next